Hello everybody, it's me Smilo here, and I want to introduce a new friend of mine. Hello everyone, my name is Sonora, and I am a Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Yeah, this is my new friend Sonora, she's a rattlesnake, and uh, we got her from the El Paso Zoo. We even got a picture of Sonora with an actual rattlesnake that we saw at the zoo, so feel free to check out that video. And we even saw a rattlesnake replica at the El Paso Museum of Archaeology, so feel free to check out our museum video as well. So if you want to have a closer look at her, yeah, don't worry, you guys can come a little bit closer, I'm not gonna bite you. So if you guys want to take a look at my head first, yeah, take a look at my eyes. I got very good night vision. So yeah, I'm a nocturnal hunter. I can hunt very well at night. And then my tongue, I can actually smell the air with my tongue. And then I, you can see my nostrils, and I don't think you can see my fangs, but they're in there, and they have very dangerous venom glands. But if you look at my head, I kind of have like a brownish snout. goes over my eyes, and then I have kind of striped markings on the side of my face but if you look underneath me I actually have kind of like a tannish color underneath and then take a look at the rest of my head and then you, if you can look across my back you can see those diamond shaped markings on my back which gives us the name the western diamondback rattlesnake so yeah take a look at my scales an array of different shades of brown yeah nice nice scales and then right here as you can see i it, i am from wild republic yes yeah, sonora here she is from wild republic and if you come over here you see these striped markings right here and then here is what really gives us our name our rattle yeah you want to give us a little bit of a rattle sonora yeah with pleasure smilo yeah, we usually use this as a warning. It's our form of defense to warn off other predators who come into contact with us. And as you can see, we actually have an actual rattlesnake rattle right here. So yeah, I want to hear it rattle. So yeah, if you ever hear this, it's a warning to back off. So you better obey the warning because you're not going to like what happens next. So yeah, you see, there's nothing to be afraid of. Rattlesnakes may be a cold-blooded species, but my friend Sonora here is actually very warm-hearted. Oh, thanks, Milo. My friend Sonora here was actually named after the Sonoran Desert. The Sonoran Desert covers large parts of the southwest United States in Arizona, California, and as well as northern Mexico, which is where this species of rattlesnake can be found. And the Sonoran Desert may be the hottest desert in Mexico, but it is actually one of the few deserts to get the most rain. And when most people hear the word snake, they usually think of evil, cold, blooded serpents but why don't we take this time to get to know this dangerous but misunderstood animal the rattlesnake is one of the most venomous and deadliest snakes on the planet which is why it is the most feared it lives throughout the united states and parts of mexico most species could be found in states such as arizona and california in fact arizona is a hot spot for rattlesnakes it is home to 19 different species of rattlesnake and there are many species of rattlesnakes in america but one of the most famous and the most feared is a western diamondback rattlesnake this particular species of rattlesnake is one of the boldest and most aggressive of all rattlesnakes. The western diamondback rattlesnake can reach an average of four feet long, but the largest can measure up to six to seven feet long. And Tanara here is about four and a half feet long, so she is considerably a life-size rattlesnake. And this snake can strike from at least eight feet away, and sometimes they will even throw themselves at you when they strike. No animal wants to have a showdown with the western diamondback rattlesnake. This aggressive snake lives in dry, open areas. This snake the snake's name refers to the diamond-shaped pattern on its back. These designs break up the creature's outline to help it blend in as it rests or awaits to spring an ambush. A rattlesnake may rest curled up in the open, but if disturbed, it adopts a much more menacing posture with its head raised, ready to strike. And it won't slither away from a fight. The western diamond back shakes its loud rattle very violently to vibrate these scales to warn potential attackers to back off. If they ignore the rattle, the snake will deliver its deadly bite. The diamond back's rattle is a set of loose interlocking scales and their rattles grow larger as the snake ages. They hunt at night during the summer and hibernate throughout the winter, although they sometimes emerge on warmer winter days. These snakes retreat into caves or share the burrows of other creatures this time of year. And since the rattlesnake is a cold-blooded creature, it cannot regulate its body temperatures, so sometimes it can be seen sunbathing. Though it lives in some of the harshest habitats in North America, this rattlesnake never misses a meal. Thanks to its great senses, this snake can find prey when other predators go hungry. The rattlesnake has excellent night vision, plus it can track down victims by smell, picking up the scent of a meal as it flicks its fork-like tongue in and out. Pits in its snout help the rattlesnake's 
see the body heat of mammals and can even sense how far away and how big the victim might be. Rattlesnake's diet mainly consists of small mammals, especially rodents and rabbits, plus some birds and lizards. And when these snakes eat, they swallow their victims whole. And most people think that their jaws dislocate, they actually extend to form a wider gape in order to swallow large victims. When the snake bites, this snake's fangs flare out as it delivers its killer bite. It injects venom through its fangs and it quickly enters the animal's bloodstream. The rattlesnake lets go after striking, then follows the fleeing victim until it dies. Although adaptable in terms of their prey, the western diamondback rattlesnake is able to survive for up to two years without eating if necessary, thanks to their stores of body fat. And it can take a rattlesnake at least three to five days to fully digest its meal. Sometimes snakes usually sleep off a digesting meal, and trust me when I tell you that it is a bad idea to wake up any sleeping serpent. And an interesting fact, when it comes to venomous snakes, babies are actually more dangerous than the adults because when a baby bites, it doesn't have control over how much venom it injects and if it injects too much venom, then it can kill its victim a lot faster. And I want to give you guys a little bit of advice when dealing with venomous snakes. I hope you never have to use it, but if you are ever bitten by any kind of venomous snake, stay calm and don't panic because once the venom enters your blood flow, it'll start flowing to your heart and if you panic, your blood will start flowing even faster and the venom in your blood will reach your heart and it will kill you instantly so just keep calm if you're ever bitten and hopefully you'll be rushed to a hospital as soon as you can so yeah trust me when i tell you that you do not want to mess with snakes especially this kind of snake and this applies to all snakes they will strike so fast you won't have time to blink so yeah a lot of really interesting information about this beautiful and misunderstood creature it's still a very dangerous species of snake but as long as you keep your distance and show it some respect you'll both get along just fine so yeah this is my new friend sonora the western diamondback rattlesnake i hope she can change the way you think about the rattlesnake we got it from the el paso zoo so feel free to check out my el paso zoo videos but that's it for now thank you for watching please be sure to like share content subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later